we just relax and take a few deep breaths, Rob, very slow, deep breaths. And as we just let go, I'm holding up one of those foam rubber dice in your screen, moving it around and it has a color to it. Just allow your mind sight, have the intention that your mind sight can go out to the screen, can pick up the energy of the color. It can interpret that and give it to your visual screen in a way that you understand in the form of vision and just be a passive observer on what your mind sight may be trying to show you. Your mind sight always sees, and at this stage of the game, our left brain is so strong, it tends to close it down. So we just need to relax and move away from the left brain, be in the here and now, and just go minute by minute, second by second, and report what color you're seeing. Yellow. Not what you imagine. Yes, it's yellow. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. I'm going to hold up a finger or fingers in your screen. This one may be difficult, but it's just a challenge to help move your mind sight forward. Your mind sight will see my face with my glasses, with my black sweater, but it will also see the light color finger or fingers moving in the screen. So allow your mind sight to pick up the movement and report back to you how many vertical lines you see. They could be very fuzzy shapes. You may see one, two, three, four, or five vertical lines or shapes or fuzzy objects in your screen. Two. Let go. Yes, it is two. Very good, Rob. Excellent, excellent. This is something new and something different. This is to help your mind sight delineate or identify a line, like a demarcation point between two things. I have got two of the colored cards in your screen, and okay. they are side by side. Side by side. So there's a vertical line between them where it changes from one color to the other color. Visualize seeing that border between the two cards. One is overlapping the other so that there's a very sharp line between the two cards. Ah, uh, this way. Yes, like that. That's correct. Okay, I see. That's, that's correct. So look in your screen in the here and now with your mind sight, and you will see a haze of color on one side, and you will see a haze of another color on the other side. Now at this point, let's try for just one color. And if you can get the other color also, that's great. But let's start with just one color. Yellow. Yes, there's a yellow. And can you tell me the other color? Visualize seeing the yellow and right next to it, what is the other color? Let go and let it appear. It's not something you make happen. It's just something you move out of the way and let it happen. Green. Yes, it is green. Now, very good, Robert. You got the yellow and the green. Now, this could be more difficult. The exercise here now is see if you can tell me which side of your screen is the yellow and which side is the green? The mind sight can reverse it. It can make it upside down. It doesn't know necessarily how to present it. So this is just to start to train your mind sight to see things in the correct way, or at least to present them to you in the actual way that they are. In the beginning, yellow is on the left. Green on the right. Okay, you're absolutely correct. Yellow is on this side, on your left, and green is on your right. So that's great. Holding up a blue card. On that blue card is a white card. On the white card itself is a black letter. Now, this is one of the most difficult exercises of all because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. 
Nevertheless, we aim for the sun. And if we reach the moon, that's great. That's the whole purpose. We always push further than I expect you can get. That is how we move you further and further all the time. So it's this letter here. I'm pointing at it. My index finger is pointing from underneath to the card. See my finger, see my nail, and look at the letter right above. So visualize that you see a finger tapping a card, tapping a blue card that has a white card on it. <coughs> it has a black letter. I'm even going to trace it out for you. Tracing it. Follow my finger, follow the movement as I trace it. Your mind e sight see. I. Uh, I. Say, what did you say first? E. Yes, it's E. It's the letter E for elephant. Yes, it is. Very good. Do you remember we had those little cups? They're little red cups. They're like a beer cup, except they're tiny, that would hold maybe a shot of liquor in them. And I'm going to take anywhere from one to five and put in your visual screen. So let go, relax, and as I put it into the screen, you will see anywhere from one to five red shapes. Let go, let it appear, just move out of the way, and let your mind sight automatically give it to you in your visual field. How many cup or cups do I have in your screen? Let go and uh, let it appear. I see, uh, I see two things. I see one cup and I see a dice with four. There's just the one red cup and there's no dice in the screen, but you did get the fact that there is one red cup in your screen, and that's very good. Let's put all those cards together, all eight together. Place all those down. So now move the rubber bands away from your workspace. Just move those away. Your mind like could see those and say circle, right? Okay, shuffle the cards, Rob. And then pick one from the middle somewhere. And turn it to me so I can see. Yep, okay, that's great. You put your other cards away out of sight. Yep. Now, that is one of the seven symbols. Could be circle, square, triangle, plus. Could be open or closed. So take that in your hand and just face it to yourself without knowing what's on the other side, without touching anything that gives you any kind of mm. hint. Move your head around to the different spots and allow the image to come. Feel good, even smile. Smiling really works. <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> our, our one instructor said, if you don't smile, I'm going to ask you to put a pencil in your mouth to bite on. And <laughs> pencil doesn't taste very good, right? Let it appear in your mind sight in the here and the now. In the real time, in this moment, your mind sight already sees it. And when you move out of the way, it can give it to your visual field and you can report to me. Even pretend you're yawning. If you were yawning, what would that feel like? Yawning, oh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So Ooh. just pretend you're yawning. Yeah. You're so relaxed. You, you could fall asleep in 20 seconds. And when you feel like that, you're connecting to your right side. You're connecting to your mind side. I want to tell you what I see, but I, uh, uh, for the moment being, I don't decide it's the correct thing. Just I say it. Uh, till the beginning, I see a V, uh, and I, I, I thought it could be a triangle, but I, I had the impression it's a, a projection. And then it was a T. Talk, talk. Ah, okay. And, and and I could I could imagine it, it could be a part of a of a of a square. Uh, talk, talk, uh, okay. But uh, uh, I don't don't. I see. will tell you. 
It I just, is part of a square, Rob. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> it is part of a square. So uh, now the thing, you know, this is where we start to have to trust our mind sight. It happens over time. Mm. It is a square. So good on that. Let's see if we can go one step further and see if it's an open square or a closed square. You are correct. It is a square. So even touch the paper and feel the energy mm. and look at it and allow that energy to come to your mind sight. Allow your mind sight to interpret and to put into an image in your visual field, whether it's open or closed. Smile. You're going to get tired of me telling you to smile. Uh, solid. Yes, it is. Very good. It is a solid, a closed square. So very good. You got that it was a square. You got that it was solid. This is a long process that we will be going oh, through over the weeks, but you are gradually getting there. Have fun with that in the morning when you wake up, Rob. Just pretend to see visual effects. And sometimes you will see lights and flashes and dots and yeah. just have fun with it and try to look through the light and let it flow. Just let it flow and have fun with it. Just play with it like you're a little boy amused by all of this mm. and allow it to spontaneously develop when you're just in that state as you're waking up because that's when the veil is very thin. That's when the barrier is very thin to your mind sight. So you can easily break through it right in those moments. So I encourage you to spend uh, some time and just play with it all in your own way at that time period. 